So each month I uh, deliver a president's message in our NCTM newsletter summing up. And some of these messages recently have ignited the membership and I've gotten tons of letters that have come back in. And so I thought what I would do was share uh, some of the messages today with you a little bit. Uh, three of them that really got people going were attitudes on mathematics in the October column, uh, transition from high school to college that I had in the February column, and then one that I did in integrated mathematics um, in the March column. In each of these, I asked people to refrain from something. In October, I asked, please refrain from saying, I was never good at math. In February, I talked about refraining from teaching endless algebra to our high school students, and in March, I asked, to refrain, asked everybody to refrain from teaching math in a layer cake format. Enough, I say, it's not okay to proclaim I was never good at math. The bad at math self-concept gets passed from one generation of our citizens to the next like a flu virus and infects the attitude of future generations of math students. One never hears people boast, oh, I was never good at English. Math can start the fire, cause it's always burning long as children's learning. Math can start the fire, it's up to us to prove it to them, they can do it. Dinner parties, track meets, social networks in the streets, Congress closets, cafes, meetings of the PTA, at the table in the square, it's been happening everywhere. These are places, math is best, we've got to make some changes fast. Math can start the fire, cause it's always burning, long as children's learning. Math can start the fire, it's up to us to prove it to them, they can do it. It's not okay if we say I was never good at math. Let's agree a math phobe gets declared a psychopath. <laughs> Einstein, Gauss, Bernoulli, Isaac Newton, they could see. Math is cool, sets us free, gives us power to grow and be. Math can start the fire, cause it's always burning long as children's learning. Math can start the fire, it's up to us to prove it to them. They can do it on and on. This is an out of date, wasteful, repetitive transition for our students. When students are confined to this tunnel of repetitive algebra, they never have opportunities to experience the beauty and excitement and power of mathematics as called for in our NCTM standards. Oh, we're stuck in a rut that goes back a century. We do algebra, more algebra eternally. Make the transition, <laughs> set people free. And uh, now you want to get on and you know do it eternally yeah. on the transition. <laughs> We've got to point out the fun on the transition. Get math out of the sun on the transition. There are other paths on the transition. To our students, math make the transition. In my view, layer cake math approach to high school mathematics that dominates so many secondary mathematics programs with sequences like algebra, geometry, and algebra 2 is an outmoded approach in the 21st century educational system. Driving on back to school last night, I should have turned left and I should have turned right, but I went straight into my room last night, and there it was, it gave a terrible fright. There was a math problem on the middle of the board. Math problem on the middle of the board. There was a math problem on the middle of the board waiting to be resolved. I didn't know where to begin, you see. Was it algebra or geometry? Or it could have been trigonometry. Oh, I was in a state of perplexity with this. Math problem on the middle of the board. A math problem on the middle of the board. It was a math problem on the middle of the board. Waiting to be resolved. Hmm. <laughs> the problem can't be solved with layer cake math. We gotta use our heads to get back on the path. We gotta integrate our strategies from algebra, statistics, and geometry to solve the math problem on the middle of the board. A math problem on the middle of the board. There was a math problem on the middle of the board waiting to be resolved. Thank you very much. And remember the three refrains. Remember the three refrains. 
Refrain from saying I was never good at math. Refrain from teaching endless algebra to our students and refrain from teaching math in a layer cake format. And my apologies to Billy Joel, the Drifters, <laughs> and Loudon Wainwright the third. Thank you. Ha, ha, ha.